Hey there, this is Jacob Ball, Jacob's Letter with Team Card Hoder. Uh, and we're back for round two with Scred Red. And this hand looks fine. A lot of different tools against different decks, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep. Don't know if I should lead on this pirate spell bomb or not, but just gonna play it. It's the most efficient way for me to use my mana for sure, because I might not want to cast a bolt <laughs> on turn one. Schooling turn of the foil variety. What is this? We're playing the same matchup again. I did not remember what my opponent's name was, I was not looking, so. See what they have going on. I don't know. Nothing. Okay. Four bolts. Guess I'm gonna play a blood moon. Probably get remanded or something. Or music forest. Playing against a different deck, that's for sure. Don't know what that's this deck is, but Maybe it's like Blue Greenlands. I don't know what we're playing against at all. But I don't have anything going on. Especially I should just crack my pirate spell bomb. But I'll just do it end of turn this turn. I guess I could do it now, because I draw lands. is stopping in my beginning of combat step. Don't know what's going on. Probably just gonna crack this relic on my second main. Or the, not the relic, the spell bomb. I have a bunch of removal in my hand. Dillion click. Clicked himself. Um, I kind of want to just anger this click and take three because bolts slightly better. If our opponent burns a counter or something on our anger, I don't really care. So All right, we'll just bolt it now. I'm not gonna take six, but I take three to try and use an anger. Drawing another blood moon is pretty tilting, but <sighs> I don't really want to play this cough into Thing my opponent has going on. They get a mana leak. But I don't really want to wait. So I'll just jam it. You know, playing it's Koth, second main Koth is kind of weird. I don't get an attacker for, but. Yeah, alright. 
I'm just for damage because oh, hunt master, sure, whatever. Or anger the gods, it's getting to do something. But Save this in case they draw a Snapcaster, but I didn't just draw cards, so. They can snap bolt me if they want, I don't really care. Sweet. It's better than getting snap remanded later. anymore, that's for sure. No. It doesn't matter. Because we have a blood in play. So. And we'll play. So does that blood moon have any value to stay in our hands? I think so. Soon got spell snared. We we're gonna draw another card. <laughs> this is a not so fun game of magic, I can tell you that, that's for sure. Yeah, it's all that matters. Lightning, Arkoth, unlucky. We have more good draws on our deck than our opponent, so save that going for us. We are just drawing a bunch of lands. has access to cryptic now. I'm not sure how much that matters. But I'm not sure how many cryptics Bloomin normally plays. I guess at least one. Why is this cryptic red? That's weird. There's no painter server in play. This card should not be red. <laughs> turned into a mountain by blood man, who knows? Jeez, opponent your batter skull. Well we're still destroying mountains. I can kill the germ token, but that doesn't solve anything. Six and hope I can draw something relevant to fight this germ.
Oh, yeah, another land. It's actually super annoying. I can bounce and play Batter School this turn. Spell snares keep getting me. Oh, that's actually we're dead. Let's get a quick better skull. Alright, take out all of our terrible cards. I don't know what we even have to bring in. This card. Molten Rain. Cage. I don't want Shatter 3, I don't really want Dragon's Claw, I could want Goblin Rattle Master. Just have more threats. I don't think I want Anger, even if it does kill Hunt Master. towards these cards. But I guess they're probably better than Screds. You just don't want Screds. Unless my opponent has some sort of board plan, then I could potentially want Scred. Not sure. I okay, just want Maximum amount of threats. Could be I just don't want Molten Rain, but it seems fine. It's like it doesn't. Yeah, I just want Screds over Molten Rains. I could put in this Dragon's Claw. Just like not molten rain my opponent. Yeah, I can get behind that. Let's do that. Yes, I would like to play first. Alright, I keep I'm gonna draw some lands, but I have a bunch of threats. Imagine Eternal Scourge is pretty hard for them to beat. Combined with Relic. I guess I have Batter Skull, but it's the only thing I can think of that trumps this that they play. Not going to crack my Relic this game, unless I just don't find my third land in a reasonable time manner, but. Probably gonna crack relic now. I don't need to. I do want to keep one uh, just for the ability to remove my own eternal scourge. So Spell Snare and Spell Snare is my Mind Stone. I'm gonna be very sad because there's only like five two drops in my deck. 
but like that I'm not gonna miss my land drop. If this gets counter here, it's gonna be really bad for me actually. Just because I don't have any lands. Probably getting remanded. Super annoying. Some lands, like I said. Probably doesn't have lands either. This is the game. Three three under land. Remand. Okay. I really don't even want to script that. It's my only, I guess I can have a pirate spell on, but... My opponent keeps, like, like de making massive delays and random stops. I don't know if he's just not paying attention or do queuing or what, but it is annoying, that's for sure. Obviously no reason to stop in my beginning of combat step, I have no creatures. <laughs> He does not want to have in his deck also. Supported and stuff like that. Play these cards, but I'm in no rush to actually do that. I'd rather just like, you no, know, just consider. I was gonna planning on just magma jetting the Snapcaster and scrying for my other land, and then starting to play stuff to so play around potential mana leak because no reason not to when I'm one land off and like under no pressure because my opponent's super mana screwed. So, what was the thing? I don't think I want to change anything. One potential change would be Molten Rains. But I think that's definitely worse. I guess if I, if I know why I put it as Tarmog Wave. Does that change anything? Probably not. 
Tarmogush is really bad against my deck. It's because I'm not boarding out relics against a Snapcaster Mage deck. Is the potential of boarding Molten Rain to cut them off of green mana? Because I think they play like some random dual lands and one basic forest. I'm going to keep this hand. I don't know how good it is, but it's got like scrying sheets and a bunch of good format of plays, so. And this isn't a uh, very creature interactive matchup, so. So my opponent just has a bunch of spells and Tarmogoyf could be really bad for me, but. I have a scrying sheets to uh, do, use on turn three. Hold on, it has that target I was talking about. Where? Yep. Hold one, two target relief. cryptic. So I guess I'm just gonna take one next turn, take one this turn, and then take one next turn. A little ricochet trap. Uh. So my opponent plays a spell here. pressure with a 1-2 time of coming in and I can just like play Pia and have Ricochet Trap up. The trick is actually trying shoots because I was just like spamming F2. Dispel. Okay. I did not expect my opponent to have Dispel on their deck. I guess he has a bunch of terrible cards. Still. Let me take two now. How unlucky. Two surgical traps are dead. They're dead and gone.
So if my opponent has bolts, he can actually save his Tarbogoyf from my Chandra, so I'm just going to play Badger Skull. I hope he doesn't have another Cryptic Command. Gate. Alright. Orange just has all of the counter spells post board. draw some screds. Should potentially just upkeep scrying sheets here. I should have left open scrying sheets last turn, but I'm stupid. my fault for losing that. I just like tap my scaring sheets without thinking. And if I had those three extra lands, I think I would have been able to kill that Tarmogoyf. Unless my, I mean, my opponent did have like three other cards, so 